Finally tonight, the farm of the future. But wait till you see where this farm is. This is no land operation. It's the work of an undersea farmer. With seafood consumption way up and fish populations dwindling, his timing for this project might be just right. ABC's Jeffrey Kaufman went swimming with the fishes. Two miles off the coast of a Puerto Rican island and far below the surface lies what may be the future of our food supply. 27-year-old Brian O'Hanlon is leading the effort to establish a new frontier on the ocean floor. 90 feet below the surface, he has placed massive cages that are anchored to the bottom. They look like they've landed from another planet. Unzip the opening and you enter a deep sea world of wonder, a dense colony of fish, 15,000 of them here. You are looking at the farm of the 21st century, a fish farm. The global fisheries are either collapsing or are reaching their maximum sustainable yields. Uh, we basically cannot take any more from the oceans. More than 40% of the fish we eat today comes from fish farms. The reality is it has been decades since there were enough fish in the ocean to satisfy the appetites of all the people in the world, which is why fish farms are here to stay. But this one is designed to be different. Not only is it trying to produce fish that are good for eating, it's trying to do that without damaging the environment. Today, most fish farms are in shallow waters close to shore, where fish food and fish waste often destroy the ecosystem. At sunrise each morning, O'Hanlon's crew sends a diet of organic feed pellets through tubes to the cages far below. This is all new science. Because the cages sit in deep water, strong currents flush the waste. Those black striped fish are new to consumers too. Cobia, a fast-growing but little-known tropical species that could soon be a familiar name. The same system can be used for many other species of fish and in many other conditions and climates. An effort to harness the sea to feed this generation without spoiling it for generations to come. Jeffrey Kaufman, ABC News, off Culebra, Puerto Rico. And that is World News for this Tuesday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you had a good day. For all of us at ABC News, have a good night.